Hi everybody, welcome to my Canada Nail Supplies Glitter Review. My name is Melissa Vince, and here's a little bit about me if you're curious. So I recently picked up eight new glitters from Canada Nail Supplies. I'll link them down below for you guys to check out. Here they all are. These glitters weren't sent to me for review. I actually purchased these with my own money and love them so much that I decided that I wanted to share them. Okay, so to start off, we have glitter number 585. This is a stunning dot glitter. It has bronze dots, white dots, and very, very light teal dots. The teal ones are actually almost completely see-through. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing this glitter. You can kind of tell in this little triangle as I dump it all over myself that the teal is see-through. And next up we have glitter number 594. This has three different colors of dot glitters in it. A dark pink, a light pinky purple, and then a medium tone purple. And these are all iridescent. Actually, I would say that this is more of a hot pink, not really a dark pink. I just love that when the light catches this one, it turns a green color or a gold color. It's absolutely stunning. Now we have glitter 596. This is a teal and dark pink glitter, and it's a bunch of different sizes of dots. It's absolutely stunning. It's actually a holographic glitter, so the teal and the pink are going to shine every color of the rainbow, but the base colors are actually just teal and just pink. It's absolutely stunning. And now we have glitter 714. This is an absolutely stunning glitter. It has three different sizes of stars in it, and they are all mirror shine. If you want something that's really, really glittery and really, really catches people's eye, this is the glitter for you. Look at how it catches the light. Now we have glitter 713. This is similar to the one that we just saw, except for this is a star glitter with three different size, size stars that are iridescent. So this one is completely see-through, but the stars are iridescent. And as you'll see as I pour it out here, it shines all different colors, blue and green and gold and pink and yeah, just it's stunning. Now we have glitter 580. This one is just basically a multicolor glitter. And it just has, a, I think it's two different sizes of all different colors of dot uh, glitters. As you can see as I poured it in here, uh, some of them are stuck together. There's a big line of yellow ones there. So that could be a little bit annoying if you're wanting yellow if they're all stuck together, but it's beautiful. Now we have 577. This is probably my favorite of them all. This glitter has pink butterflies, purple and orange flowers, iridescent pink glitters. It just really has it all. It's absolutely stunning. Just take a look at it as I pour it in. You can kind of see how beautiful it is. This is a really fun mix for a glitter fade in my opinion. And it would be great for a beautiful set of spring nails too. Now we have glitter 593. This is just a simple black and white dot glitter mix. I thought it would be really good for pulling the black or pulling the white when you're doing a design if you're looking for that extra color or you just want some dot shapes. I figured it would be really easy to pull out that black or that white. Or you can use it together. It's super fun as well. All right, now I'm going to show you how to use these glitters. So I've painted a nail with um, a couple coats of a light pink, and I'm just putting on top a thin layer of top coat. And I'm just taking a nail art brush, and I'm going to start picking up those dots with my, the end of my nail art brush. I'm just going to keep placing them wherever I want them, and if I don't, if I mess up, you can just easily move them because the top coat's not cured. You're just basically placing them in that wet top coat. 
Now, as you'll see here, I was having issues with the glitter sticking together. The purple ones specifically in this mix tended to stick together. So an easy way to get them to unstick is just to kind of rub them in between your fingers like I did right there, and they tend to separate. If not, just put it down and move on to the next one. And as you can see right here, I was having an issue with those purple ones sticking together again. So I just rubbed them between my fingers, like I said before, and had them kind of come apart, got them to come apart. So just keep placing these little dots until you have them the way you like them. And then you're gonna cure that. Now once that's finished curing, you're gonna come in with another very generous layer of top coat. And because those little dots are cured into the top coat that we placed down in the beginning, they're not gonna move anywhere. And basically we're just trying to get top coat in and around all of those little dots. And now we're gonna cure that one more time. And we're gonna come in with another layer of top coat just to make sure that there are no sharp corners sticking out where the where the dots are placed. We don't want it getting caught or anything. I find for myself, if it gets caught on anything or if there's any sharp edges, that I do tend to pick at the dots. And they, you can absolutely pick them out. So, And once you're finished, this is what it's going to look like. Now we're gonna do another design. We're gonna use a sheer pink polish. I was using OPI's Baby Take a Vow. And I'm just gonna paint this one layer on to my nail tip here and cure it. And now we're gonna come in with those beautiful iridescent glitter stars that I showed you from earlier, and we're just gonna start placing those into the inhibition layer. So we're placing those into the sticky layer on top, and we're gonna try and push those corners of that star down into the sticky layer. This doesn't always work, unfortunately, but for these glitters, they seem to be thin enough to be working for these larger star glitters. So just keep working your way, placing all of your glitters where you want them and pushing them into that inhibition layer as good as you can. All right, now that I have all of my stars placed where I want them, um, as you can see, no corners are sticking up. I'm gonna come in with another layer of that OPI's Baby Take a Vow, that sheer pink, and I'm gonna very lightly paint over top of that. These are not held in by anything other than sticking to that inhibition layer. So they will move around, unfortunately. Just take the tip of your nail art brush and pat them back into place where you want them. And now we're gonna cure that in our lamp. And we're gonna go over top of that with a matte top coat. I personally like the way that this looks with a matte top coat, but you can absolutely do it shiny if you prefer. And then we're gonna cure it again. And then we're gonna, of course, wipe off that inhibition layer. And this is your finished look. I just love how it's um, very subtle and just catches that light still with that sheer polish over top. All right, we're gonna do one last design with these glitters. I'm gonna take my Bondique Black Diamond Gel by LCN. This is a very thin viscosity um, gel and it is also uh, very self-leveling, which is important when you're using 
glitter like this. So I'm just gonna go in and paint one, or sorry, float one thin layer of that onto my nail tip. And I'm gonna take that stunning butterfly glitter that I showed you guys earlier, and I'm just gonna start placing all of those glitter pieces into the uncured gel. Just keep placing those and filling in all of the spaces with the little glitters, wherever you feel like needs one, put one, and then you wanna start fading them up. So you don't want it to be just one solid bit of glitter. You wanna lightly and gradually fade all of the glitter pieces up the nail. And then once you're finished with that, once all of your glitters are placed, you are going to cure them all into place in your lamp. So go ahead and pop that in your lamp and cure it for the appropriate time. Now we're gonna go in with our gel again and we're gonna take a large amount and we're just gonna place that right on top. And we're just gonna start smoothing it in to all of the corners and crevices of all these tiny little uh, pieces making sure to cover it all completely. We don't want any of those little butterfly wings edges to be poking out or anything like that. So go ahead and cover it and then you're gonna try and your best to smooth it out as much as possible. That way you will have minimal finish filing at the end. Keep checking your angles and fl by flipping it and by turning your, or if you're, this is on a client, what, turning your client's hands to see how your gel looks from different angles. That will help you find any bald spots or spots, spots that need more gel or less gel. It really helps if you're moving it around and looking at it. Once you have it where you want it, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna cure that again. Now we're gonna come in with a lint-free wipe and we're gonna get rid of that inhibition layer and we're gonna start finish filing. So always start with your sidewalls first and your free edge first, and then you're just gonna go ahead and take your file and go over top of the design. Making sure not to file too thin because you don't wanna file away those glitter pieces that you've so carefully placed. I decided to take it off the back of the stand because it was kind of getting in the way and I was having a hard time getting down the sidewalls. So just go ahead and finish file how you need to. I did most of it off of camera here just to save some time. And then we're gonna, of course, buff, get all those fine scratches out of our design, out of our nail, sorry. Okay, now we're gonna remove all of that dust. I just spritz it with some 99% alcohol and wiped it with a lint-free wipe. And now we're gonna just top coat it. So I'm gonna use my Ugly Duckling No Wipe Top Coat because I really love the shine that this lets off. So go ahead and paint that on and give it a cure. All right, so overall, I really enjoy these glitters. They're beautiful, they are very thin, they are easily encapsulated. I do highly, highly recommend them. Not only that, but they have an amazing selection. These are just eight glitters. They have tons and tons to choose from on their website. So again, I'm just gonna leave that website link in the description bar below for you guys. So feel free to go and check out Canada Nail Supplies and their glitters. They're absolutely stunning. If you'd like to see and hear more from me, then please come join me in the Shine Club. All information and links are also in the description bar to the Shine Club. And hopefully I'll see you guys there. Bye.